feel like all this transgender stuff is being pushed onto the kids. And in Jersey, they're teaching them that they can do it at five years old, which is wonderful. You know, that's great. You don't want to be a boy? Don't worry about it. You can wear dresses. Like, that's insane. We should be instilling really the makes, values. It really makes you wonder where we're going to be in 20 years from now. Everyone like, is going to be wearing exactly the same clothes. Because now Victoria's Secret makes clothes for both boys and girls. Which I wholeheartedly up understand for. Shut right now. Oh, I'm serious. Victoria's Secret sells clothes for both boys and girls. And they keep featuring very obese women. Which kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. Because I'm trying to look at panties. And there's this really obese woman on the thing. Which is weird. Oh my god. I can't scroll it while I'm holding it, but... Hold on. Let me see. Y'all are going to see all my other emails, but... There you go. Okay. Can they see it? Yep. Yep. Cool. But that is... But that... But that's always been... um... But look at that. That one's two gay guys wearing Victoria's Secret clothes. They should have a Cadbury egg in their mouth. (laughs) I'll see it. Honey for humans. Yep, and all this stuff shows guys and girls wearing the same clothes. That's is that is that the whole gender neutral thing, right? Like uh that's the gender neutral's the new word. It took place of unisex. Crazy, right? Wow. Like how are you selling men's clothes on a sex shop for women? crazy and like they're trying to promote these loose fitting long shorts they're not targeted towards a normal woman they're targeted towards either obese women or really old women that have kids but you know you even saying obese women there's going to be so women that would get offended by that it's crazy when you when you use something that's descriptive people get offended it's not obese it's likes food a lot <laughs> there's a lot of morbidly obese people <laughs> sun dresses for a man speaking of fatties being predominantly shown everywhere now it doesn't now if you got a little extra pudge that's fine you're not like this <sighs> This is such a I'm a woman. I could talk about this, right? Okay, yeah. You sure. be misogynistic, right? Sure. Sexist? This is not gonna it's frozen. So, this is on the cover of Cosmo magazine. Cosmo, the epitome of sexy women wearing bikinis with little bits of water falling on their nipples getting photoshopped. <laughs> this is not Cosmo. This is promoting obesity to the fullest extent. It's insane. Victoria's Secret, same thing. All of the models are plus size, way past plus size, honestly, models. Like, she can't wear a 1X. She's probably like a 7X. It's insane. Why are we pushing this idea that it's okay to be fat and love yourself? Who's going to love you? Someone will love them, but I agree. If you're if you're saying that this is the new healthy, uh, no, no, it is not. My doctor will tell you a totally different story and tell you that I'm too fat and I'm morbidly obese. So if I'm morbidly obese at 6'1", 252 pounds, what is that? Is that deathly obese? That's, is that, that's two seats on an airplane. That's what that is. That's I need a whole row. <laughs> that's what that is. Uh, but if... if like, I don't mind an average size woman being promoted. Like a size 8 or a size 10. Those are average sizes for a woman. Being a size 47 waist is not average and it should not be promoted as being healthy. Because, like, looking at Cosmo and looking at all these magazines and all these prints of all these women that have sexy abs and that look good make me want to be sexy. They make me want to work hard to stay skinny. But girls seeing that are going to be like, I could be fat. I could be on Cosmo. Like, you know... It's crazy even looking at the leg. Like, I, I don't want to spend so much time on that, but it's, Show it's, it again. It's, it's nuts when you look at this. Like, just just uh, when you look at, you know, this 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 area here. Um, uh, I, you could be healthy and even be a size 14. 
But being the size that she is is not healthy, and it's wrong that's promoted as such. Like, the the women that are on the Victoria's Secret now, like, they, they have these giant folds in their sides that hang over the panties. And it's like, I don't know if those panties don't fit you, or you're just so fat, but I can't see what I'm buying. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Like, oh, those don't have any strings on the sides at all. Those are cool panties. <laughs> like, it's just like a little C that just goes up your coochie. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. But they're saying like this is this is it's a it's it's. I, I think they're using the word healthy in a different context. They're using it healthy because that's their lifestyle and it's healthy for them to promote it. But it's not healthy in a traditional sense of what we all know healthy as is you being healthy. Right. Not how you feel internally. Healthy is what you consume, what you eat, your caloric intake, your 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 carbs, whatever that I don't think any doctor would look at that and be like, yes, she is healthy. No, no. And I don't want to hear the excuse that you have a thyroid problem because you did a whole article about eating what you want and you feeling good about what you eat. That's not healthy. Right, I want to eat chocolate all the time, but I don't do it. You know why? Because I know my 252 will turn into 452. <laughs> right? And then losing it is always harder than putting it on. And you know, this would have never happened under the Obama administration because Michelle Obama hated fatties. Yes, she did. She wanted to get rid of uh, <laughs> Twinkies and, um, and any type of obesity. Yeah, well, uh, what, I mean, fitness regulation ho- in schools. Hostess. She put somebody out yeah. of business, Wonder Bread or, or something that. Yeah, Wonder Bread because it wasn't actually healthy or right. something. Like, crazy but like the thing is that when women get to this size even if they lose weight they will never look right what about empowerment brie empower what and what about what i'm using the other side what about what about they they should get as much as attention as someone that works all day every day to get their body to be as fit as possible if you're sitting on the couch wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. What? Look at that tattoo on her arm. Do you see who that is? Hold on a second. (laughs) I had to zoom in. That's fucking Miss Piggy. Because that's her. (laughs) It's a portrait. (laughs) It's Miss Piggy. Oh, God. (laughs) Lots of times, men will get married to an attractive woman. The attractive woman then has children, does not go back to her original size or attempt to, continues to gain weight, has another child, puts on more weight, gets fatter, and then she wonders why her husband cheats on her. You are not what I came in here with. Like, love isn't enough in a relationship. You also have to be attracted to that person. Absolutely. I love my mom. I'm not going to sleep with her. Like, <laughs> there's a difference. I agree. I agree. But men accept it because they don't want to seem too shallow and but, they don't want to tell her, hey, you know how we had to upgrade from a queen to a double king? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Why, why do you think that is? Not because you like bigger blankets, because you're bigger. <laughs> We were watching 90 Day Fiance. This dude comes from Russia, goes in her kitchen, throws out all of the chips, all of the cereal, throws out everything, and he takes it out of her hands and goes, you shouldn't eat this. <laughs> throws it out. Throws it all out. Of course, this guy was a big health nut. But, you <laughs> it know- was so funny. Her sister was like, why are you throwing them out? She's like, I don't want him, I don't want her eating this garbage. That's right. Like- <laughs> a, and when you look at what, how people like from overseas, how they, and I, I'm not saying that obesity is on the rise in America and UK has been for a while now. Uh, but the problem is, is that all this bullshit that we eat is not good for us. Right. And when you look at t- typical body masses in other countries, it's not because they don't have food is they know self-control. Right and and the they portions don't... are significantly smaller. So fucking our late. small soda is like an XL to them. That's right. If you buy a European car, good luck using the cup holder. That's right. They, they, the they cup got... holders are made for people in Europe. The cup holders are made for like cans <laughs> like this. It's like a shot of Red Bull. That's your that's your cup holder. I forget where we were shopping, but we were shopping for a car, and one of them was like a European car. The cup holder looks like it could hold like a skinny soda. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, it's it, but but again, this is this is why America is the way that it is, and then we're putting people on magazine covers. But it's like saying it, it would be equivalent to having a, a chubby girl on a Cosmopolitan. The cover would be equivalent to having uh, someone like me on shirtless on Men's Fitness. <laughs> No, forget me. Uh, I'm going to use Shatter because he proudly totes 350 pounds. He's 100 pounds more than me. Put him on the cover without a shirt. Men's fitness. This is the new healthy. It, it's crazy. So all these MMA fighters are doing it all wrong. They're cutting too much weight. They need <laughs> to put it on. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like telling everyone that they could do whatever they want. Act however they want. Look however they want. Love anyone who that they want is is a problem because that's going to spiral. So now everyone's going to be fat and gay and there's gonna, not going to be any babies. Like, <laughs> like that's what's going to happen. The, the human race as we know it is dead. <laughs> Cars are going to be bigger. Streets are going to be wider. <laughs> <laughs> Sidewalks. They have to make the street and, and knock you. down buildings. Thank you, Clinotic. Thank you, brother. Um, just to make room for the bigger... <laughs> Twin all beds the, aren't going to be a thing anymore. All the diners are now changed. Or the less seating because they needed to put more space between the bench and the and fucking then, table. Like when you go to a diner and you sit down and the table is against your stomach, you're like, this wasn't made for me. They're, they're <laughs> stand for you. Hey, love who you want. Some dudes like them fat girls. You're missing the Stan, point, Stan. Your wife weighs like seven pounds. Right. <laughs> like- right. So don't, don't come at me with that shit. <laughs> Plus, uh, Stan, you're missing the point. We're not saying that people don't love them. Well, Bree might be saying that. Oh, yes. Um, I think that they'll get less love from men being as big as they are than is if they were thinner and in better shape, right? When you watch uh, runway models, well, well, runway models aren't skinny because they're demanded. They're they're designed that way so it highlights more of the clothes, not so much of that person. For real? Yeah, yeah. They want it to look like mannequins. It's not because what? it's a requirement. No, they want to show off as much as close as possible. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I'd have to disagree. You'll find more men will be more sexually attracted to and love more women that are in shape than that of women that are out of shape, massively out of shape. And um, you'll find men will be unhappy. And, and those will be your cheaters. We're not talking about women like being in shape, being pencils. We're not talking about that. We're talking about being a healthy weight for your height and your age. That's what we're talking about. Being that fat at her age, at any age really, is is not right. So we're not talking about like you have to be extremely skinny and like this big. We're not talking about that. Fun fact, fat women don't like fat men and will laugh at him. Fat women want fit men. Odd, right? Well, because they can't do the pumping. So someone else has to. Yeah, I, I there's no way I'm gonna ride that dick for too long. How am I gonna hold back these thighs? Like, <laughs> 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 it's just so crazy. What what is being pushed as okay? Like race is getting pushed down our throat. Weight is getting pushed down our throat. Sexual ambiguity, ambiguity yeah, is being pushed down your throat. Yeah, but what what again? Go back to what it was ten years ago. What was it ten years ago? It was just normal, normal? shit. Normal shit. No problem. People did what they wanted. People were no gay. Problem. People were straight. Yeah. No one pointed them out any differently. It was just life. Yep. It was just, this is the way that it is. Now everything has a label. She's big, bold, and beautiful. Psh. <laughs> I agree. I agree 100%. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. 